This recipe, I seem to have figured out how to do it, how to do it right, how to do it quickly. And that's a good thing because I have teenagers and a husband and a job and I don't have all that much time to spend in the kitchen, really, because there's other things that I need to be doing. All right, let me get started. Here are the ingredients. Carrots, you could get them pre-washed and pre-chopped. That's what I do, it makes life really simple. Garlic, as much or as little as you wanna have in it. I usually put three cloves. Sometimes I fish them out before I puree the soup. Ginger, recipe calls for a tablespoon or two tablespoons. I like as many tablespoons as I can possibly cut up because I love ginger. To me, there's never enough. Chopped onions, when someone else chops these onions, it makes me really, really happy. I chop and peel zucchini. And then I use vegetable broth from Pacific Organic. Usually I get the low sodium, but they were out of it this time at the store. And then today I'm using avocado oil. And then this everything spicy flavoring from Flavor God. It has a nice kick to it. I'm gonna start by heating the pan and adding just two tablespoons of the avocado oil. And again, you could use any oil you want. I just happen to use this. To that, once it's hot, I'm gonna add onions. And you can find the recipe in Lynn Janae's book, The Plan, or you can find it online. There's a link to it in the description of this video below. So I added about a cup and a half of onions. And while that's cooking, I'm just gonna chop my ginger. This is a seasoning, there you go. It smells really, really, really good. Okay, now I'm adding the ginger. Another reason why this recipe is so simple is it's not a lot of steps. You cook the onions through, you add the ginger, you throw in the garlic, and then in a few minutes, you put all the carrots and the zucchini in, mix it around, then you add the broth and it just sits. It just simmers for an hour or more, depending on how soft and mushy you want vegetables to get. I like them super mushy. And then you puree it and you're done. And you've got soup for days and it's just delicious. All right, so I'm gonna add the carrots now and the zucchini and then just saute it for a minute or two and then add the vegetable broth. And that's it. The recipe says use four cups, but depending on how many vegetables I use, because I never really follow exactly the amount of vegetables the recipe says, I sort of eyeball how much broth or liquid I think the soup's going to need. I think right now four cups is going to be okay. Okay, so I'm going to bring this to a boil let it simmer, and then you'll see how lovely it looks when it's all cooked down, and then how beautiful it is when it's finally pureed and I get to eat it. This has been cooking about an hour, and you could see that all the vegetables are now sort of melded together, and this process creates a really deep flavor in the soup. The soup is done, and I'm now pureeing it, and you can see a bit of the puree here. Mm -hmm. So delicious. The soup is done, and I'm gonna taste it. It had to go shower, so I did go shower, and no time to do my hair, but that's okay. Mmm. It is creamy. It tastes like there's cream in it, but there's no cream in it. It is healthy, but tastes decadent. You will love this soup so much. And if you don't, let me know in the comments, but I have a feeling the comments are all gonna be, oh my goodness, this soup is really, really yummy. And please subscribe to my YouTube page and also like my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Jenny Hutt. Thanks again for watching and leave comments and I will reply to whatever comments you choose to leave me here. Talk to you later, bye-bye. Mm.